Hello everyone. This is Rakesh Kapilis, and I welcome you all in my today's class. And uh, I hope you all are fit and fine, as well as healthy at your places. So today we will discuss class eleventh trial balance. As you know that in our previous of the videos uh, we have gone through journal how to generalize the transaction then the ledgers how to post the transaction in ledgers as well as we have also covered the cash book how to uh, post the transaction in different types of cash book whatever that was single column double column or triple column so when we uh, covered the ledger and the cash book then we also close the or balance the different types of ledgers and we came to know the closing balances of all the ledgers as well as cash books so now after finding the closing balances of all the ledgers all the accounts the next step in the accounting cycle is to make a summary is to make summarization of the transactions summarization of the transaction or summarization of the books of accounts so the next step in the series trial balance first of all we will discuss and we will try to know what is the meaning of trial balance trial balance is a statement which is being prepared by taking all the closing balances of all the ledgers right by taking all the closing balances balances at the end right which will automatically be, will become the opening balance of next period like i am talking if the closing balance of any ledger on 31st march 2018 will become the closing balance of that ledger on 1st april 2019 trial balance is a statement which is being prepared in order to make the summary of all the ledgers by taking its closing balances trial balance come to the features what features what characteristics you will get in ledger the very first it is a list of balances this trial balance is a list of only closing balances of uh, all the ledgers second is it is a statement it is not an account it is a statement so as it is a statement so it don't have the debit balance credit balance or you can say sorry not i'm um, the debit balance credit balance it having no debit side not credit side it having only two columns of the amount statement right no opening balance no closing balance no two side no buy side statement then third is it is just a working paper it is not a part of double entry system and the trial balance does not appear anywhere in the books it is just a working paper to check the summary of all the closing balances of the all the ledgers then it check only arithmetic numerical digital accuracy it simply checks the arithmetic accuracy the logical accuracy or the accuracy of the principles is not being checked only it is just to check the arithmetic accuracy then it is being prepared on a date not a particular for a particular period and it can be prepared on any date maybe uh, after 6 months 3 months just after com uh, compiling the ledgers but normally this is being prepared at the end of the year then it provide base for the financial statement means the last step of the accounting cycle that is to finalize the 
financial statement that is trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet that provide the base for that because when the trial balance will be prepared, it will be okay. Then by checking all the balances of all the ledgers, the next step is to prepare the trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. This is the features. Come to the objective need or the functions. What are the different types of objectives? And or you can say why we used to prepare the trial balance. What is the objective behind that? The very first is to know the arithmetic accuracy, to know the digital accuracy. When the trial balance will tally, when the both sides of trial balance will agree to each other, then it means it, it will show that each and every transaction is being recorded. And all the, if any aspect is being recorded on the debit side, then its credit aspect is also being recorded. Then it helps us to find out the errors. Like if trial balance is not telling, if the both sides of the trial balance is not telling, then definitely there may be some errors. Then we will definitely find out those errors and we will try to learn these things in the next coming videos. How we detect the arrow errors and how we remove the impact of those errors. The third is to get a summary of ledgers. By preparing, by making the trial balance, our main aim, our main objective is to get a summary of ledgers. Whether all the ledgers are being balanced, whether or we got the bal closing balances of all the ledgers, if any ledger is left unbalanced, then we have to close that to get a summary. The last, as we have discussed in the sixth point of this feature, that it provided base to prepare the final account. It provide base to prepare the trading profit and loss account and balance sheet, which ultimately tell us our profit earning capacity, whether the firm is earning the profit or loss, whether the financial position of the company is sound. So this is the trial balance, its features and its meaning. Now we will discuss, now we will try to discuss what is trial balance and what is its performer and how it works. So let me tell you one by one, what is the performer of this trial balance and uh, how we can record the different balances in that trial balance. So trial balance simply it having two columns not two sides. This will be debit, this will credit but it, will, it is not a uh, side like two side by side. Here you will put the debit amount, here you have to put the credit amount and here in the very first you have to put name of that account name of account or name of ledger right here you can put one more thing that is serial number right serial number one two three four now in order to put like suppose here you will put cash bank different types of ledgers and you will put the balances in their respective column. Debit balance will be put here like cash having debit balance of 10,000 it will be shown here and you will put the dot over there B means cash having debit balance. Now if bank balance having credit balance it will be shown here and there will be tick. This is trial balance and both sides of the trial balance will always agree. Both sides of the trial balance will always be agree if this trial balance is not telling then it means something is wrong. You have committed some mistake in the posting or in the balancing or in the uh, carry forwarding or even the uh, mistake maybe to put the balance in the trial balance that we will discuss later on. Now the next question how to prepare the trial balance. So in order to prepare the trial balance you may get three type of situation. Number one it will be prepared by taking the closing balances of all the ledgers. By taking closing balance of all the ledgers. You may have given plenty of ledgers and you have to take one by one their closing balances and you have to put the closing balances one by one. Right? Second, you may have, it, you may have given the summary of balances of all the ledgers and by taking the summary of that ledger, you have to put that one by one. Third situation, you may be given a numerical question that you may have given a wrong trial balance by an 
unexperienced accountant and you have to redraft that in a correct manner so in order to record the transactions into journal into this debit or credit what rule you have to follow the very first all the assets all assets expenses losses will always be on the debit side right all the assets whatever that is tangible intangible you will put that on the debit side cash bank stock debtor prepaid expense plant and machinery landed building furniture and fixture motor vehicle investment anything all the assets should be always 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 put in the debit side and all the liabilities come to the opposite liabilities incomes profits gains that should be shown on the credit side all the liabilities creditors bills payable bank overdraft outstanding expense income received in advance bank loan right and uh, any income you are receiving the rent you are receiving the salary all the income will be on the credit side right this rule you have to apply all the time all the asset having always debit balance only one asset is there that is bank which may have the positive as well as negative as well as zero balance if bank having positive balance it should be on the debit side if bank having negative balance it will called bank overdraft and it will be shown on the credit side these two rule you have to apply while preparing the trial balance in the most of the cases in your plus one class you will get a statement you will get a summary of different accounts and you have to put that into debit or credit and while putting in the debit or credit you will follow this rule assets debit liability credit expense loss debit income profit gain credit okay so by using this by using this format you can prepare the trial balance and after putting all the ledgers after putting all the ledgers balance the both sides should be equal in value when these two sides will be equal in amount then it means it is a symbol of it is the proof of that whatever we have recorded in the journal ledger or in all types of accounts or we have taken that into the trial balance that is arithmetically correct means both sides are equal it means arithmetic accuracy is okay this is trial balance okay thank you very much